Can you hear my dog in the background? She's like grown in a way. Jazzy. She's my pointer. We adopted her from the Humane Society. She she uh, basically is is my bodyguard. And and oh, she'll tell you that. I, I'm one of her puppies, basically. And, and dogs, that's what I love about dogs and cats and other animals that you bring into your life. They tend to embrace you in the way of they are are your keeper and that you are part of their lives and they want to protect you. They give you songs in the morning. They, they give you protection when you walk outside or, or like Jazzy, when, when she knows it's time to go for a walk, it's not that she wants to go for a walk. Her human needs to go for a walk because the human had a heart attack one time back in 2009. And, and she knows that. And she's got to get that human out there on the street because she doesn't want to lose her human. She's taking care of, of her baby, her baby. That's what I love about animals. Watching things around you, you, you begin to feel how important all the elements of the universe are when you take the attention off from yourself. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. And today we are reading from October 12th, 2022. I was with Tommy Avalone yesterday. One of the creative minds behind this two-part documentary, I Love You, You Hate Me. It's about Barney the Dinosaur. Remember Barney? I love you, you love me, do, 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 do. To hear him share the stories of everything that took place behind the scenes, and then to be introduced to the negative energy that came with those stories. Although Barney was, and still is, all about teaching the most positive messages... Believe it or not, there are a few people on the other side of that flat screen that become brutal. Tommy says, humans feel a need to be angry and hateful. Oh, I had to do some research about that. I mean, that's been, that has been planted in my heart since I had that conversation with Tommy yesterday. Humans feel a need to be angry and hateful. Well, according to the research that I dug into, it begins with a person or group who feels envy. They want something that someone else has. They look at it as being unfair, devaluation, and ideology. Well, what those two do, they reduce empathy. Once again, I I am no expert, but understanding begins with conversation. Learning to listen without a personal reaction. I mean, I remember a preacher sitting me down and saying, look, I have no problem meeting up with these atheists. He says it's always a great learning place to just listen to what the other side is thinking. Look at the world right now. I just had a humongous conversation with one of the top dogs of Capital One, and we talked about how the world is being brutalized from all sides, and it's affecting businesses, especially small businesses. We are being just twisted every day, a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter. So when you hear a quote like this from Tommy Avalone, where he says that humans feel a need to be angry and hateful, that's also got to be an idea, an idea to become more aware of how you are acting, because people don't have to be angry. My essential job puts me in front of a lot of people, a lot of relationships in the world of business and or in the community, a lot of people every day. That's my essential job. And inside that mix, there is a man that stands about 6'3", 6'4", 85 years old. Every time he comes into that place, he's angry, very angry, and he yells at my team players. So how did I handle this? Well, being up front where I am, when I see that he's coming into the building, the first thing I do is I run over to the door and I greet him with a smile. Dude, what are you doing? Man, it's been at least a couple of days since I saw you. How have you been? Okay, hey, do me a favor. Don't forget your bananas, okay? Because I know you come in here, you get two bananas and you get peanut butter. Don't don't forget any of that. Show me where it is. And, and, and you and say, absolutely, I'll show you where it is. So it's, it's, it's almost like the universe is, is telling me, plant something that's positive so that when he sees you and he's feeling angry, he can look at you and see that, you know what? Maybe today I don't want to be that way. Maybe I don't want to be angry. Learning to listen. Like the preacher man said, he'll listen to an atheist. He always wants to know what the other side is thinking. Maybe that's what we need to do in our personal lives as well. Let's sit down and listen to the other side. 
I'm Arrow. And that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.